Sup, nerd amigos. I'm the Jive Talking Nerd, John Norgrove, and this is Nerd Jive. So I know I've, I took last week off, but you can only sort of see it. I'm in the process of building out an office. I'm obviously not outside. The lighting is so yellow and gross. Ugh, I need to get better lighting, but I don't have that yet, so I'm working on it. Um, got my rig set up so I can... I can program and, and video game and all that kind of stuff. So you should be expecting much more consistency in the videos, uh, a lot more. Uh, we're going to start getting that Twitch channel up and running and doing that kind of stuff. I got graphics cards and all that set up. Um, as well as this is where Dom and I are going to be recording our Jive Talks and a couple of other things. So that's going to be a podcast slash video. Uh, we may or may not do that live to kind of see how everybody feels about that once we start going with it. But uh, Either way, that's why I've been out for a little while. You can see my uh, family crest poster up, or a uh, flag that, that uh, Julie painted, and then I bought a love pillow at Fanime this year because I had to. I couldn't not. I've always wanted to own one. I'm actually going to use it because of its length. I'm going to use it for a bench. I'm going to put it in the side office here so that when somebody comes in, it's like, oh, there's a little sitting space if you want to sit and, or, you know, do whatever. But it's going to be super creepy because they're sitting on that thing, so it's going to be dope, right? Uh, but yeah, it's also, I imagine the room's a little echoey, at least to my ear currently it's a little echoey. So I'm going to try to fix that, but you're going to have to just deal with that for now. I can't seem to find my lapel mic and I don't know why. But either way, I've been ranting and excusing, so let's get right to business. So first up is potential Batgirl news. Alright, so the DCEU just uh, leaked uh, some stuff that was uploaded to Reddit and it's a list of actresses to potentially play Batgirl. All right, so uh, Joss Whedon will be writing and directing Batgirl um, after he's done with the Justice League reshoots, but we got this list. So first up on this list is Katherine Langford. All right, then uh, we have Elle Fanning. After that is Jane Levy, or Levy. Uh, and then after that is Margaret Quale, or Kuali, or Quali. I don't know how to say her name. Either way, of the four, I think that Jane Levy would be the best. Or Jane Levy. I, I don't know how to say that. But I think that Jane Levy would be the best. Um, I've seen her in some other stuff. She was in, I think, Suburgatory or something like that. It was, I, I, like, I think that her look fits Batgirl a little bit better. But uh, of the four, tell me who you think would make the best Batgirl. And uh, hopefully this isn't sort of an elaborate ruse to keep us unfocused from the fact that Justice League is going to be hot fucking garbage. So uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's hope that it's one of these four. All right, next up is some Space Council news, which is pretty awesome. So on Friday, President Trump officially revived, via an executive order, the National Space Council. So... Uh, I was doing some research, and then I was going to explain to you the history of the Space Council because they've been in and out of existence a couple of times. Focus. Wow. Uh, they've been in and out of existence a couple of times. Uh, and I was going to explain to you kind of what they do, but I realized that that's super confusing and a lot of work, and I don't have to think that hard. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read a quote from the acting NASA administrator, Robert Lightfoot. All right. So, Robert Lightfoot, quote, I am pleased that President Trump has signed an executive order reestablishing the National Space Council. This council has existed previously from 1989 to 1993, and a version of it also existed as the National Aeronautic and Space Council from 1958 to 1973. As such, the council has guided NASA from our earliest days and can help us achieve the many ambitious milestones we are striving for today. This high-level group advises the president and comprises of leaders of government agencies with a stake in space, including the NASA administrator, the Secretary of State, Commerce, Defense, and others, and will be chaired by Vice President Mike Pence. It will help ensure that all aspects of the national space power, national security, commerce, international relations, exploration, and science are coordinated and aligned to best serve the American people. A user's adversary... Uh, advisory group, wow, a user's advisory group also will be convened so that the interests of industries and other non-federal entities are represented. The establishment of the council is another demonstration of the Trump's administration's deep interest in our work and a testament to the importance of space exploration to our economy and our nation and the planet as a whole, end quote. So, that was a lot, but... 
what basically what they're saying is that we've done this before in times of great space exploration and we're at that point right china's trying to send stuff to the moon russia's in on it international space station's getting hot uh spacex is getting hot nasa's getting hot people are looking at them we're looking at in 10 years having motherfuckers landed on mars that's a big goddamn deal all right and so having advisory councils and having sort of like one ring to rule them all uh, and make sure that their communications and stuff are happening appropriately. I don't think this is detecting my face in the slightest. Uh, <laughs> if I'm blurry, just fucking deal with it and I'll fix it next time. Um, but I, th I think all of this is incredibly, incredibly important. And I think that, um, I think this is a great idea. And you know what? Whether you like Trump or you hate Trump or fucking whatever the hell your political bend is, uh, I think that he made the right move by reinstating the Space Council, um, the National Space Council, which sounds super sketch like. Uh, it sounds real evil, like menacing, like it's the Space Council, but it's not. It's just a bunch of bureaucrats standing around pretending they know what the fuck they're talking about. But either way, I think it's a good idea and I think it's a good move. So, you know what? Good job, Trump. Thumbs up. So next up, more space news. We got the rest of the day is just space news. Space, 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 space. Next up, sp more space news is a Chinese rocket failure. So China's space program recently met with a fairly large setback. So state media has reported that the Long March 5 Y2, which is a heavy-duty rocket, uh, failed shortly after launch. It just really wants to fuck with me like that. Failed shortly after launch. All right. Uh, so this is a large enough failure to scrap five of these Y2 heavy-duty lift rocket missions that were traditional that were set to launch that are uh, were uh, set to carry satellites into orbit all right they've scrapped the next five of those missions which is a lot um, and we'll see how this affects China's plans uh, they had a plan to send a probe to the moon later this year uh, as well as just generally increase their presence in space and uh, it's going to be interesting to see exactly what China does with this and where they go with this. Um, whether it's a, it's a total engine failure and they need to start from the ground up, or it's just a manufacturing fault, or perhaps um, it's something small that they can just replace down the line with their newest engines. So hopefully that works out for China, but they did have a pretty heavy setback. Speaking of problems in space... All right, the last thing I want to talk about today is SpaceX. So on Sunday, this last Sunday, which is uh, the 2nd of July, uh, SpaceX was scheduled to launch a Boeing-built uh, Intellisat 35E communications satellite. Um, it was going to be a it was going to be another one of those real heavy. We're not going to return the rocket to the ground. Kind of um, uh, geostationary uh, orbit launches, uh, but you know, and I was why we were painting our trucks. Uh, if you follow me on social media on Facebook, you saw we uh, painted my truck and Dom's truck. But they um, they uh, you know handed over to the system. Everything was good. All the checks came out. T minus nine seconds. The computer called an automated shutdown, went through the shutdown procedures, everything ended up fine, nothing bad happened. Uh, but they were not able to launch on Sunday due to some sort of a guidance, Jesus Christ, some sort of a guidance systems or navigation systems malfunction. Um, they're not 100% certain why. They had another targetable launch date, which was today at about 5.30 our time, so Pacific Standard Time. Uh, again, I paid attention to the launch. Uh, they got down to, I think, around a T-minus a minute and a half or so. I was driving home, so I was just listening to it uh, uh, with a headphone uh, to the launch uh, info. But they got, they got to about T-minus a minute and a half, if I remember correctly, uh, and had to scrub the launch again. Uh, and since they didn't have additional time, like additional time in the window, they decided to offset the launch. I have seen stuff online that says they may try to launch it tomorrow. There may be launch window tomorrow. Um, but I don't have a lot of information. I didn't even get 100% like when they were talking about it um, on, on, their, on their live stream. They didn't give 100% like it's again a guidance and navigation systems malfunction. They're still investigating and stuff like that. So hopefully we get a little bit more information with that. 
figure out what's going on uh, with SpaceX, and hopefully we get to watch a rocket launch on the 4th of July. That'd be awesome, right? Go America. But, um, yeah, as uh, if you follow me on social media, which you should, get off your ass and do it, um, uh, follow me on social media. Tomorrow, when it comes up, I will link to it. I'll share all that stuff with you guys so you guys can make sure to follow it. Uh, I've probably missed, like, two SpaceX launches, at least live coverage. So it's nice. I really enjoy watching them. They're super informative. Like, why the heck not, you know? But either way, a lot of space news today. But, you know, that's kind of the thing that I'm interested in. And the rest of the new, the techie news has been what seemed, at least to me, a little boring and kind of whatever. A lot of speculative stuff. Um, but either way, uh, follow me on social media. I, we've got Facebook. I, or, uh, you know, Nerd Jive got Facebook. I have personal Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Follow me on all that kind of stuff. Like this video below. Comment below. Let me know what you think of the four ladies and uh, which one you think would make the best bat girl. Uh, share this video on your social media so other motherfuckers get to look at my stupid face. I listen to my echoey video and uh, judge my terrible, terrible lighting and editing skills. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. If you're new, hi, uh, I'm the guy. And if you're not new, fuck you, keep watching. So, yeah, uh, we expect a lot more stuff in the future. I've uh, obviously took that week off to get this organized a little bit, and it's clearly not finished. But we're working our way up there. So either way, uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I've been John Norgrove. This has been Nerd Jive. Stay nerdy, guys.